I'm photographer David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. Today, I'm gonna to talk about adjusting settings to get the right exposure for your images. You probably already know by now that I'm a big proponent of shooting in manual mode, and my recommendation has always been to just start somewhere with your settings and adjust until it looks how you want. There are three settings you can change, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. And if you adjust two or three at once, it can get confusing because you don't know how each one is affecting your image. But which one of those do you change first? Well, here's how I think about it. There are usually one or two settings that are more important to the image you're trying to make. So you wanna lock those in first and then adjust the other settings that have less of an impact. So for example, if we're outdoors and wanna make a picture with a shallow depth of field, then the most important setting is the aperture. I'll wanna shoot wide open, so I'll set this lens at f4 and won't change it. Next, I want my ISO to be relatively low to give me the least amount of noise. I have a bit more leeway with this setting because I really won't see much of a difference if I'm shooting at 200, 400, or even at 640. I'll go with 400 in this case and lock it in. Now all I have to worry about is my shutter speed, and that's the one I'm gonna move around. At this point, unless I get into really slow shutter speeds, all it will affect is my exposure. Shooting at 250th of a second or 2,000th of a second will freeze my subject completely either way, so I can safely adjust that setting until I get the exact right exposure. Of course, every situation is different. To make a panning shot, I need a slow shutter speed, so I would set that first and then pick a low ISO for quality. That leaves me only with the aperture, which is less important to the image, because in a panning shot, it won't look too much different whether I'm at 5.6 or f11. At the end of the day, you wanna keep things simple for yourself by locking in two of the three settings and then adjust only the third until everything looks just how you want it. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.